Hello, my lovely people targeting maths. Paper one is done. I really, really hope it went well. If it didn't, don't panic. In fact, don't even think about it because if you let those negative thoughts come in before you know it, it's affecting your revision and it's going to affect your next paper going into that exam, just park it, just shelve it. It's done. You can't change it. Just focus now on the next two papers. And let's be honest, you've only done 33% of the of the exam. You've got another 66% to go. So it's not really a disaster, is it? So we have 20 days and then it's paper two. So we have lots of time to prepare. I wanted to write a predicted paper. And because I want my resources, what I'm pushing out, I want to be really good. I want it to be quality. I want to feel confident that I am giving you something that's really, really going to help. So I went back over the last five exam series and I analysed the papers really, really thoroughly to find out what were the most popular topics coming up on paper two so that I could create something really useful. Anyway, my results were very interesting and I would like to share them with you now. OK, so these are the results. This is the first of three lists. These topics are the ones that are the most common. They have come up more than any other, but they're not just coming up on paper two. They're getting distributed across paper two and paper three. So if we now take a look at this, we can see that these topics here are coming up more often on paper two than on paper three. So if I was to write a predicted paper, these are the ones that I would include. However, we can also see that they're being evenly distributed or that paper three becomes more popular. Well, who's to say that something that's been frequent on paper two isn't now going to be moved across to paper three to even things out? We don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how Edexcel think. What we do know is that they are really common. So for me and my students, we're going to really focus on this list and my other three over the next 20 days to prepare for both the papers. I am going to produce content that tests these topics rather than content that says this will be in paper two or this is what I think will be in paper two. Now, I'm not saying there isn't a place for those predicted papers, and I would definitely encourage you to be using them because all revision, all practice is good practice at the end of the day. I'm just really trying to explain why I personally am not doing it. I really want to make the best possible choices for the channel that will help you uh, and not mislead you in any way whatsoever. So let's look at the other lists. This one is coming up about 60% of the time. Um, part C are the areas that I would encourage you not to neglect. They do come up. They're not uncommon. Now, I just want to explain a couple of these percentages so that they kind of make a bit more sense. First of all, I want to talk about the averages. What I've done here is I've lumped in all the averages. So it might be from a list. It might be from a stem and leaf or a table. And you can see that this is really, really common. It's coming up on both papers. So it's not unusual for it to be tested in two and then in three, because averages is quite a big topic at the end of the day. Probability is doing the same. Percentages are doing the same. And percentages really are tested. So that is worth digging down and, and getting stuck into for sure. The document itself is in the description, you can download that and then you've got that checklist to either work through or just to check against and remind yourself. OK, so please do use the channel. There's lots already on it that will help you in your preparation. Make sure it's all calculator questions that you're practicing. I will create some content around these topics so that you've got some additional resources coming your way. I do like to write them because... I think when you haven't seen it already, when it's not part of what's been going around and around and around, it's really testing your knowledge and it's helping you apply it. So I'm going to take the time to do that and then I will get the content out to you. I will be writing a predicted paper three. I'm actually quite excited about writing that. I can't do it until I've seen paper two and then there's only a week. I work full time. I tutor. So there are only so many hours in the day. 
I will do it as quickly as I possibly can and I will get it out. All right. Uh, so do keep an eye on the channel. If you're finding the channel useful, please subscribe. It does help others find it. And obviously it will help me as well. And I look forward to yeah seeing you in our next videos.